Okay, follow-ups. Biggest thing that you can do in your business and the scariest thing that you can do. But you have to follow up if you want to have your business grow. So I have a couple follow-up verbiage that you can use. Because let's face it, I'm busy, you're busy. You know our customers are busy. So they might walk in and be like, you know what, I need new scents. But then the phone rings or the dog needs to be walked. And then they forget about it, right? The worst thing that we can have is our customers walking through Walmart and see the Walmart wax section and go pick some up because it was on their brain and we haven't followed up with them. That's horrible. We don't want to do that. So don't be afraid to follow up. If they say no right now, don't take it to heart. Follow up with them in a couple more months. They're eventually going to need new scents, okay? So with that being said, I have a couple um, verbiage for you to follow up with because I am the worst person when it comes to what do I say? I don't know what to say. I don't want to sound like an idiot, right? We're all embarrassed about what people are going to think about us. We got to get out of our comfort zone and we have to just do it, okay? Whether it's text message, phone call, email, Facebook message, you just need to do it. So I'm going to give you a couple ideas and you can rewatch this and write these down. I'll speak slowly so that way you have a couple different ways to follow up and things to say, okay? So the first thing is thank you for an order, okay? So when somebody orders, the first thing I do is I tell them thank you for ordering and then I write out a business, I write out thank you cards and I send them every month or I try to at least, a handwritten note so that way they know that I am thankful for their their business and them helping my, my family, right? So thank you for your order. So I'm gonna read a couple of them. I have a couple different ones. So, hi, their name. Thank you for your Scentsy order. I hope you love our, our new products. I'll check back in with you soon once your order has arrived. Easy, right? The one that I use is hi, in their first name. Thank you for your order. I hope you love your new products. My family appreciates your support. I would love to keep you up to date on my specials via, via my Facebook VIP group. And then I put my group tag below, my link. So that way I can try to get people into my VIP page, okay? So that gives you a couple ideas. Okay, next one. Let's go back and checking in on an order. So they've already received their order and we need to check in and see how they like it. This is gonna be about two weeks after they got their order or they bought from you, okay? Hi, whatever their name is. It's Lindsay, your Scentsy gal, because they might not have my number saved in their phone. So I want to let them know who I am. How are your new products or how are your new scents or whatever their product is, okay? Um, how are your new washer whips? Done, right? Another one is, hi, blank. How are your new scents? Easy, right? Um, let's see. Hi, I wanted to check in and make sure that you're enjoying your new products. So what did you use first? Done, right? Easy. You open-ended questions, they're more likely to respond back, right? We're not asking for a sale. We're just asking them how are they liking their products. We're making, we're doing our customer service. So there's that one. Then re-engaging after an order. So this is going to be like a month out or two months out. Just re-engaging, right? This is where we're going to start wanting to see if they need more stock. They need to reorder because we sell consumables. This is what I use. Hi, first name. Your Cincy Gal Lindsay here. It's been a while since you last purchased. I'm checking in to make sure you're still loving your Scentsy products. Are you ready for some new scents? Right? Open in a question. Hey, are you still liking them? Are you ready for some new scents? Okay. Another one I have is, hi, sweet friend. I hope you had a fun weekend. How are your scents? Do you, did you find a new favorite? Right? We're just engaging. We're just asking them questions. Um, let's see. Got that one. So there's that. Now, checking in on a sample. I do monthly samples, or I try to. I'm not perfect. We're all human. We all have lives. But I try to hand out samples. So if I hand out a sample to somebody new, I definitely try to get their information so that way I can check in on them. Same thing with my monthly mailers. When I send out samples, I want feedback, okay? I'm not always trying to get a sale. I just want feedback so I know if I need to stock it or not, okay? So hi, first name. It's Lindsay, your Scentsy gal. I wanted to check in and hear your thoughts on whatever the sample name is, uh, making waves. I sent in the mail. Did you find yours okay? Did it find you okay? Sorry. Your feedback helps me know which items to carry in my stock and events. I hope you're doing well. 
So that's just me reaching out to him. Hey, don't forget about me. I'm your Cincy gal. Here's my number. Hopefully, if I keep popping up, you're going to save my name into your phone as Lindsay Cincy. And how do you like your scents? I get, nah, not my favorite, or oh my God, I love it, or actually, I really like it. I need to order some. Awesome. Great. Thank you for your feedback. I appreciate it. So those are some ideas that you can use. Uh, let's see. Engaging a past customer. So this is what I send to people that I have not ordered from me or talked to in a long time, like six months to a year. Just like, hey, don't forget me. I hope I can still take your business. How are you doing? So stuff like that. So I say hi and their name. It's Lindsay, your Scentsy gal. So I'm reminding them who I am. It's been a long time since we chatted. How are you and your family doing? So I'm just opening that up to see how they're doing. Now, after we start talking, I'm not going to be like, oh, by the way, do you need anything? But I'm going to try to work Cincy into that if they do respond and just see how it goes, okay? I'm not trying to be like, hey, order for me. Because that's the one thing people get tired of is every time you hear from somebody, all they want is an order. I hear that all the time. So they're not going to answer you because they're going to know that's all you're hitting them up for. So you want to build those connections with these people, okay? That's what I have for you today.